Welcome to Class Fit Sugar. I'm your trainer, Nikki Nee, and today I've got a 30 minute bar inspired workout for you to help release and realign after a bad day. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's We're do ready. this. Let's get started. So finding your way into your body, take the legs a little wider than your hips. We're in sneakers, but you can always do this workout barefoot if that feels better for you to connect to the earth. Let's just start by taking a deep breath in, roll the shoulders up. Exhale, drop them down. <sighs> Give your body a little shake. Again, deep breath in, roll them up. Exhale, let it go, <sighs> a little shake. We've got one more, deep breath in. This time, hold the breath in. Tighten all the muscles in your body, squeeze. And then let them go, big shoulder roll. <sighs> so we're gonna move to the music and let the music help you find the rhythm of your breath. In and out. <sighs> the breath is such a beautiful way to release any of that tightness and tension. Take the shoulders, roll them forward. I know for me, I hold a lot of my stress and tension in my shoulders and my neck. So if that's it for you, let this be an opportunity to release it. Shift your state, shift your mind, shift your mood. Right here, we're gonna use the chest and take it like a cat cow in yoga, just arching and rounding. And already start to fire up a little bit through the center of your body. But more important than connecting to the core is connecting to the core of your soul. So feel that and pick the pace up as we take it out and in. So yeah, we want a strong physical core, abs and back, that is so great. But once we are able to find that connection to our inner selves at any moment, we're gonna be able to drop in and realign. Let's take the head to the right. So we're just gonna take it right, center, left. Nice and easy. Feeling that stretch. Let's take the head to a tilt. So we tilt that right ear to the right shoulder and then the other side. Beautiful. Take it down and up. Mm-hmm. So gentle. We can get a great workout in and still be nurturing and gentle to our bodies. Taking four more. <sighs> All right, my friend. A thick shoulder rolls. Right shoulder goes back and then the left shoulder. Feel a little bit of a bend into the knees so that we can start warming up the legs as well. And add the elbows to circle. We're gonna make the movement a little bit bigger. And then take this to an arm circle. Circle the arms out. It's this invitation to create space. Create space in your body, but in your mind. Let go of what just happened, what just was going on. Stay with us right here, right now. Let's circle it forward from the back. Just being present and allowing whatever you feel to come up and be felt. We don't always have to be bright, smiley, and happy. We can live like a human and feel all of the things, taking it to elbows bent, rolling it forward. And then just shoulders, drop the hands, rolling, stepping through. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more alive, a little bit more warm. And then plant your feet, take the hands to the heart, and then exhale, open that all up. Bend your knees, touch your legs, roll up through the body. Deep breath in, exhale, extend your arms out, open your heart, bend the knees, round up. This is our heart open. Take yourself through two or three more, just like this and let it be an experience where you can gain presence with what you need right now. <sighs> what you feel. And then coming up. Wonderful, stay right here. Bring your feet a little closer together, parallel under your hips. Lift your arms with an inhale. Float them all the way up overhead. Exhale, let the arms float down. Again, inhale, arms up. So just slowing it down. Give yourself permission that you don't have to push, that you can feel and be. And Sherry and I are gonna add in a heel raise this next time that we lift the arms up. Just starting to find a little bit of strength and stability in the ankles, firing up your calf muscles. And if that's too much, you don't always have to go quite as high. Leilani is showing you just a nice variation of that where the heels don't have to go really high, but if you feel balanced and stable, you can take the heels all the way up over the balls of the feet. One more like that. Inhale, floats the arms up. Exhale, float them down, and land your hand onto your heart and to your belly. 
Feel grounded in your legs, maybe they become wider. Close your eyes and just take a moment to check in. Ask yourself, what do I need right now? What do I need? And let that be this opportunity to give yourself that, to feel through this workout and let any stuck emotion bubble up to the surface and we will burn it out in the flames of our inner thighs. <laughs> so go ahead and lower that down. Give yourself just a little wiggle, a little bit of a shake. <sighs> you got this. Tapping in to our inner dancer. Let's take the legs wide to a grand plie in second position. So we're turned out from the tops of the hips. Toes are at the diagonal. Wrap your inner thighs forward. So it's like you have these two spirally vertexes of energy through your thighs, around your waist, spiraling all the way up. All right, we're gonna take that tightness and we're gonna bend the knees down, hands to heart center. And as you straighten the legs, we're gonna throw the arms back behind us. Let's try, we go down. Up. So to the tempo, to the beat, find your flow. <sighs> find the alignment in your body so that we're not letting the knees fall inward. We wanna use the strength of our outer thighs to take the legs super wide, to really feel that stretch and the spread. <sighs> I'm feeling it. Got it? All right, Definitely we're here for a little burn. while. <laughs> so it can get better and juicier and deeper as the legs feel more turned on and I invite you to really use your breath. The breath is the easiest and quickest way to drop into the present moment right now. And so that's what we want, is just to be here now. Maybe you've had a bad day, and in this moment, let yourself feel all of that. Girl, it's been a bad month. <laughs> oh, it's been a bad month. <laughs> and that's okay. Life is waves. So we can experience all of them and come to our mat, come to our workout and let this be an opportunity to let go, to release. Good, staying with it. We got about eight more right here. I'm releasing something. Releasing something, let's go. Definitely, I'm with you. You got three more. Come on. And then we're gonna go ahead, last one, stay right here. We're gonna take a tiny little pulse just right here. We're gonna pray to the plie gods <laughs> and know that that little bit of shake in the body is not only the muscles fatiguing, burning out, and changing, but the beautiful part, the transformative part, is that shake is trauma leaving the body. So think about that. Let that shake be an invitation to have a somatic release to your body. If you need to make noise, if you need to breathe or shake the hands, you can. <sighs> you are hopefully feeling in your body and safe to be you. So keep that going. Staying present. I was at a restaurant the other day and they called it the soup of the moment rather than the you. soup of the day. So today we're gonna tap into our, our soup of the moment, as in what we feel in this moment right now. Stay low, give me two more eights right here. And that. then we know, we get to decide in every breath how we wanna feel. So we could have felt like crap 10 breaths ago, and this breath right now feel a little bit more okay. Stay right here and just hold and lift one heel and then the other heel. One and then the other. I know. It's burning, I feel it. Well, but the shake. soup of the moment right now is that I'm gonna challenge myself and get through it. Keep both heels lifted, see if you can find a moment of balance and take your arms out wide. Option to stay with the heels lifted and take arm circles back. Leilani will modify taking the heels down. But my friends, we are still in this grand plie, I know. If you gotta straighten it for a second, you can. And then we get right back into it. Tiny little arm circles. <sighs> Stay present, breathe. And yeah. the beauty of these bar workouts, calling in your inner dancer, is that there's a sense of grace to it. So the neck stays long, the face is relaxed. <sighs> Remember, you don't have to be feeling amazing. It doesn't have to be your best. It's just enough that you showed up. You got four, three, two, one. Go ahead and open your heart. Exhale, let it go. Bend your knees, 
roll down, touch your legs, give them a little massage. What is it like to just touch your body today? Feel into that, where, where is it burning? Can you give it a little bit more love? A lot of times when we're having a bad day, we push those feelings aside and we don't let them be experienced. So take a moment right now, feet together, bring your hands to your heart, let yourself feel that. It's all welcome, all parts are welcome here. And then we're gonna take ourselves, our hearts, down to our mats. So setting up for a push up. Leilani will show you the modifications. So starting in a high plank position, the shoulders are over your wrists. Then we wanna make sure that the hips are not dropping down, that means the back's arched. Tighten up the core, and we don't want the hips too high as well. So set yourself just up in your plank. The modification is down on your knees or maybe onto fists if you have sensitive wrists. We're gonna start with the elbows wide. So maybe take the hands just a tiny bit wider than shoulders, and we're gonna take it chest to the floor. We're going in four, three, two, keep the glutes tight, we lower down. Press it up, exhale. Inhale, lower, exhale. Straightening up. Yes, that's right, Lilani, let me hear that breath, girl. The breath is a flush, is a release. Stay tight. You've got eight more right here. Whew. That's it. You got your last four. Let's Stay focused. It. Pushing the earth away. Pushing away the bad vibes. And then take a moment, rest in child's pose. Set your hips back to your heels. Breathe. Let your belly be soft. Third eye to the floor. What do you need right now? If the tendency is to push, maybe you take the modification. If your tendency is to avoid and go easy, maybe you try without your knees. Let's take this second step. So set it up. This time we're gonna take the hands a little bit more in, so our elbows are gonna stay close to our ribs, like a yogi chaturanga push-up. So get yourself set up, breathe in. Come into your push-up position set up. We go in four, three, two. Let's take it down and up. Ha! Down. In this moment, what's getting you through? Can you shift that inner voice to be one of positivity, of acceptance, of where you're at today, Woo. right now? Woo! Finish it off, let's go. Your last set, four more. Yes, you can do hard things. Go ahead and sit back onto your heels, breathe. Well done. Roll up through your spine. Give your arms a little bit of a shake. Maybe stretch out your wrists. <sighs> Doing all right? You're yep. here. That is already something to be super proud of, that you're not feeling great standing up and you decided to move, to get in your body and to shift your state of being. That is a powerful sense of inner discipline. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it for these plies. We're gonna need it. Definitely. Everybody loves them a good first position. Heels together, toes to the diagonal, stand up nice and tall, hands to art center, we bend and stretch. So this Dami plie in first is an opportunity to turn on those muscles in the bute. I like to call them my smile muscles. Hey. So maybe if you're not having the greatest day and there ain't a smile on your face, there could be a smile behind you to Let's keep go. the vibes high. <laughs> yeah, stay with it. We're living here. We're breathing here. We're doing it. <laughs> Try not to let the, the booty, those cute smiles, pop out. So we want to keep everything centered and straight down, straight up. That's going to get the burn that you want happening even sooner. Stay here, stay here, we keep going. I feel present. Feel present? Yes, it's nice. Staying with it. I think the thing about our workout, you've got eight more, is that we think that we always have to be happy, positive, vibrant beings all day, every day long, and that can be so exhausting. So maybe the mood you're in right now is just because you're tired. 
So let yourself be a little bit tired and let your breath nourish you. Thank you for that reminder. Yeah, yeah. it's a tired world we live in. <laughs> work in, then your workout. Let's pulse it right here. It doesn't have to be every time your best 100 in order to make it feel productive for you. It can feel satisfying and enough just by showing up, just by carving out this 30 minutes just for you, because you deserve it. Loving yourself first is the way that we trust ourselves and fill our cup up to pour it out into the rest of our world. <sighs> You're gonna need this love. We got four more eights right here. <laughs> I know we're feeling it. It's a good burn. It is a good burn. A it's a good day to have working. a good burn. Yes, mm -hmm. Leilani's boot is working. <laughs> All right, just stay low right here. Low, low, low. You can lift the heels high and go a little bit lower. Just hold it. You just got eight seconds. Find the balance. Bring your arms up. Straighten up. And give it a little shake out. Ooh, nicely done. Connect again if in. Take the hands to the heart. Deep breath in and feel. What's going on now? What do you notice? Relief. <sighs> connection. Definitely different than the bad month walking into this. <laughs> yeah. And it's all welcome. Even if right now you're still feeling heavy or stuck or lost, that's okay. You don't have to have all the answers right now. Just connect to your breath and staying connected to each other is gonna help us make it through. Let's move down to the mat. <laughs> so we're gonna take it to all fours position. We're gonna work on the outer thighs, the glutes. So from all fours, you're gonna extend your right leg back and just give me a little external rotation in the hip. So the pinky toe is what's lifting up towards the sky. And Leilani's modifying on those elbows, which is perfect. That'll help to keep her back from arching and the core more engaged. And then for Sherry over there, she's gonna show you that you can really lift the leg if you have the flexibility and extend the leg super straight, point the foot, the foot. Give me that line. It's like that dancer's arabesque. Mm -hmm. Gets that booty nice and tight and high. We defy in gravity. <laughs> I like to say we're drawing on the wall with our toes. Draw on the wall with your toes, yes, I love that analogy. And if you do have sensitive knees at all, you can always cushion the knee more by adding a fold into your mat or an extra blanket. And then look down, let the back of the neck just be relaxed. What do you see? What do you see right now, notice. As you feel, take that in through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep pulsing. You just got eight, seven, four. Maybe the leg goes a little bit higher. And then go ahead and sit the hips back onto your heels. Oh yeah. You might wanna walk the hands to the left, stretch into the right hip, or whatever feels good for you. You know what you need. I can never guide you as beautiful as you can guide yourself. So listen to your inner teacher. As you start to come up, we're gonna set ourselves up for the second side. So finding that position, extend now your opposite leg back. We've got our left leg straight back. Turn out from the top of your hip so your kneecap faces the back away from me. And then the pinky toe is lifting and lowering up. Breathe there. Maybe you need a modification on this side. Remember, it's not about being perfect today. It's not about having the 10 out of 10 gold star workout. It's you showing up for yourself, finding a shift in your day, shift in your mood. Keep that leg lifted. We are still here. We are still working out those glutes. The beat's a little bit quicker, so let's add that tempo up. Ha, ha, here we gotta lift, lift. Are you breathing, Leilani? I'm doing it. I hear it, I love it. Keep that up. How are you doing over there, Sherry? I'm surviving. Surviving. <laughs> that sometimes is enough. We don't always have to be thriving. Keep that leg lifted. Staying up. We got about 30 more seconds on this side. Woo. Where does your mind go? Where do your thoughts go? What is the soup of the moment today, right now? 
Ah, stay with it, you got this. 15 more seconds. Feel the extension, feel the leg lift. Let's go for eight more. Got four, three, two, lower down. Take a seat back into your hip. Maybe walk the hands over to the side. You doing all right? We're gonna do a little bit of a cardio burst here. So stand back up. Give yourself a moment, a little bit of a shake. A little shimmy. And then we're gonna get back into first position, finishing it off right here. We're gonna just take a bend and a stretch of the legs. Hands to the hips. And if you wanna turn it up, a little bit more of a cardio, you're gonna take a little jump. Hands can drop down to a low fifth for this finish. Have that little bit of a bounce. And just out right there may be enough to lighten your load of whatever you're carrying. Let that drip off of you as you jump up towards the stars. I'm feeling the release. Feel the release, yeah, it could be a shake. Let's go eight, and then just make it free. Just dance it out, a little party moment. And then take a deep breath. Ah, bend the knees, round up. Touch your body, check in. One more deep breath in. Exhale, burst it out. Ah, let it go. Staying with it, really done. We're gonna take ourselves a little bit to the side position. We're gonna start with the left leg back, our right leg forward. We're taking grand bat mas. So you can start with the hands to the hips. If you feel more balanced, you can take the arms out. It's a position through first, a tondu, and then a lift of the leg. Lower leg back through tondu, brush through first, and come into a nice deep lunge. The leg does not need to be high. Let's give it a try. Four, three, two, one. Take it up, down, lift, lower. So wherever you're at today is where you're at today. I know so often we show up to a workout wanting to change and be better and do better, but just for today, can we be like, I'm actually kind of crushing it right now. Wherever I'm at, I did not stay on the couch, wallow in my sorrows. I turned on a workout, I got my body moving, feel good about that, and let go of how high your leg is. Yes. Well, I got dressed today, I am here. <laughs> Give me two more. Oh yeah, shake it out. We're gonna stay that same direction. We got this? Yes. We got it. Take it to the other side. Take the opposite leg back, right leg back, left leg forward. Stand up tall, roll your shoulders back, girl. Here we go. Take that grand mama up and down. Lift and lower. So again, it doesn't have to be high, but if you're really feeling that work of the energy coming down from the back of the leg, underneath and out your toe, that's what we're working for. Rather than gripping the quad and the hip flexor to thrust the leg up, it's more of an energetic brush of energy out from underneath you. Up, down, lift and lower. We're almost there. Maybe getting a little bit sweaty feeling the heart rate get elevated. Almost there, finish it out. Stay connected within, find that place that is always okay, that knows it's gonna be fine. My friend, we're finishing it off right here. You got four more. Two, one, shake it out, let it go. Whew. Whew. Give me a little dance party, a little bounce, a little shake, remember who you are. <laughs> it's all welcome, feel the feelings, and then let them go. Deep breath in, open your heart, exhale. <sighs> Just stay standing, one hand on heart, one hand on belly. Feel that connection within. No, know that little voice inside. 
telling you, it's all gonna be okay. It's all gonna work out. And as you feel into that, can you trust that voice? When in the past has it not been okay? And that always somehow life has unfolded just as it needed to. So keep that and, and energy going, that connection to your inner self, that part of you that's not going anywhere ever. It's eternal and it's content. Let that drive. As we finish this workout, I'll sit, take a seat for some core. All right, let's go ahead and face the side. We're doing all right? We're doing great. <laughs> all right, we're gonna take it to a reverse crunch. Fingertips point towards your heels, shoulders roll back. You're gonna keep a bend in the knees and you're gonna draw the knees into your chest and then extend them out, as far out as you could feel comfortable. Leilani is showing you the modification here where you can just take the legs in and out. If you wanna go in between that, you could take the hands and add in a crunch with your reverse crunch. So you can add both of those in or you can stay in and out. So find what works for you. Know that you're nearing the end. So if that helps you to keep yourself going, keep moving, then let that take you there. I'm gonna lower down because I could feel myself gripping my quads and I don't wanna do that. I wanna feel it right into the lower abdominals, into the transverse, keeping everything held in. All right, stay right here. Everybody meet me down on your back, fingertips to the temples keeping a bend to your knees. You're gonna take the right knee to the left elbow as you twist and then lower it down and then opposite side twist and then lower. Let's go to the tempo, here we go. A twist, lower. Still breathing. The breath, what is the moment? That, what is it that you feel in this moment? Nearing the end. Let's take one more eight count right here and you could have the option to stay with Leilani and keep this work going. Or me and Sherry, you're gonna take it to a bicycle, extending the leg out, so extend and twist. For four, three, two, one. My friends, lower down. Let everything soften and relax. A big shavasana. Thank yourselves. Thank you guys. Thank That's you all so for- so grateful for you both. Yes, for keeping us accountable. The supportive community is really something special. So you are held, even if you're doing this alone, know that we are with you, that time and space is just a dimension and we could be <laughs> present together right here, right now. Feel. From here, go ahead and draw your knees into your chest and give yourself a little massage of the back by circling your knees in one direction. <sighs> Circle the knees in another direction. And then let those knees just fall over to the left side of your body. Your right hand can extend to the side and your left hand can come atop of the outside of your right leg. And maybe close your eyes. Just feel the internal organs get a massage. and. Feel proud. When we're having a bad day, that energy, that feeling, that emotion, we reach a lot of times for unhealthy things. What are the things, the unhealthy things that you reach for when you're feeling sad or angry? <laughs> Go ahead and take the legs the other side. For me, it's like TV or chips or you, you know, like sometimes we just want to wallow in that feeling and that's okay. But then what if when you're feeling sad or stressed out, you reached for your body and you were able to move it as the medicine to whatever you're going through? Hmm. That feels really empowering. Thank you for that. <laughs> take it back center. Go ahead and take the feet to the floor. Cross your ankle over your thigh. Make a figure four and draw the knee to the chest. We did a lot of work with the outer thighs, so give them a stretch. And then uncross. Yeah, so just feeling in your tool belt what you could start reaching for when you're having a bad day and 
being able to have the resilience to bounce back to a state of balance and alignment more easily, more quickly. Go ahead and lower the legs, extend the legs long, and just let's close out our practice right here. Connected back to the body, hands maybe to the belly or the heart, whatever feels good for you. And ask yourself now, how do I feel? What do I need? And just remembering that it's all gonna work out. Because you're in control. You get to decide. <laughs> and let's just begin to roll on over to one side. Take a moment there and just feel into your energy and what maybe you need to do the rest of your day or not do. If you need more rest, maybe it's a decision to get to bed a little bit earlier. Take that with you as you press yourself up to a seat and then gently make your way up to standing. Well done. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Leilani. Hopefully you've been able to release some stuff so that you're more aligned to move through the rest of your day feeling like you. We'll see you next time.